Hey everybody, George the Tech. I'm at vocalbooth.com and he may not be here every day, but I caught him on his way through. And that's the owner, is that right? Yep. Of uh, vocalbooth.com, Calvin Mann. How you doing, Calvin? Hi, everything's good. <laughs> Glad you're here. We've had, The crew's had a great time with you. Yeah, we've had a blast together and we're creating new things together, so. No, it's very exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And uh, I'm excited about this crew because they're always innovating. I, I mean, I've been in business 26 years and you go through different levels, of, uh, different batches of employees and That's things right. like that. And you grow and you learn who to hire and who not to hire. And then yeah. now for a long time now, I've had a really solid team that yeah. really enjoys what they're doing and they enjoy innovating and, and I give them the leeway to do that. I can and see it, that. And it works. It, 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 mm -hmm. Giving your employees a, a certain amount of freedom really, really works. People who are, you know, you know, business owners who are controlling and want to micromanage and you, you, sure you've got to set some parameters of how your company works and your culture works. But if you truly give your staff freedom to do pretty much what they want to do within within a certain range, mm -hmm. they, they come up with great stuff. And and I come up with good stuff. But whenever you know, I come up with good stuff. But whenever I bounce it off the team, they they amplify it. I mean, teamwork is everything. Yeah, uh, I've learned that that you get so much more when you get a group of knowledgeable people bringing stuff to the table it's and it's same thing with you know i play music when mm -hmm. i play uh i've just started actually starting to play with people i've been a solo act and you bring a few musicians in and they come up with licks and different parts to your songs yeah that i would not have thought of and I go oh my gosh that sounds great yeah total collaboration and so yeah so collaboration is 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 what we do here and what what makes it i've go. just i've been able to witness that here just watching the guys prototype products right in front in front of my very eyes and just seeing them think outside the box, so to speak, creating new things and working together and solving problems, working with Carl to like come up with these new panel designs yeah, very rapidly, yeah, yeah. having the guys manufacture them right on the spot so we could immediately put them into play and test them and use them and do all the tests was uh, really a cool experience. Yeah. Really amazing. We're a small company, a 13,000 square foot building. We've got 13, 14 staff overall um, and and I'm you know I'm an owner of there so there's not a whole lot of layers to go through when you're trying to make decisions yeah so one of our values is is that we're able to 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 really create stuff on the fly for 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 our clients mm -hmm. um, we, we can turn stuff around really quickly we can yeah. innovate really quickly for people uh, we can do custom stuff um, that a lot of companies aren't able to do. And that's one of the benefits of, of being the size that we are. So it's, it's just the right size. Yes, yeah, so some of the products that, you're, that you have on your catalog, so to speak, did any of that start as like a custom thing or like a product that was just for you and you're like, oh, maybe we should make more of these? Well, I started the company 26 years ago in, in the the duplex I was renting and I made my own studio. I, mm -hmm. I got, got a bunch of uh, RV door and parts from here and there and threw it together. And I thought, well, maybe there's a, there's a, there's a market here for it. And then I built the second one more that you could duplicate and, and, and produce. Right, right. And then, uh, and then from there it took off. And we got a lot of innovation just from customers asking us for something. Yeah. So they say, can you do this? And we say, yes. And we run around. <laughs> can you do this? And we say yes. Say yes, and then figure it out. <laughs> and we run around trying. Can we do this? <laughs> well, we also we also do have some controls. We we, we can't go too far because then it just it, it 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 takes us too far out of our realm. But yeah, for 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 what we do, uh, I think we've got a already. We have a menu of of, of options that you right. can do that's pre that covers pretty much what most people want. Um, mm -hmm. And now with our new silver series. Um, or our, our, what we call our upgraded or, or, or mm -hmm. newly developed silver series. Now we have a, a good range of, of, of prices and and uh, and uh, applications for mm -hmm. people. Starting with our smallest, which is a amplifier box, you can put your amp in and, and crank it up and not mm -hmm. blow away the band or the the people in your church. Yeah. And uh, for, to the VO1, which, which is the, the voiceover mm -hmm. booth that goes into the corner of, of mm -hmm. your space and makes your sound 
immense and wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, then to our, our entry level Silver Series vocal booth, completely enclosed with a door. Yeah. Uh, and then our Gold Series, which is the next level up with heavier duty door and more soundproofing. And then our Platinum, which is the double wall design. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can add all kinds of accessories and options. Um, a little more soundproofing if you want by adding a layer of barium vinyl in the wall. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but when I first started the company, I threw was throwing these things together, kind of pulled it out of my butt. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you, what was the vocal boot one one point or zero point one? What was the first one? Was it, was, it a four it, by four? It was or? it was a eight by eight. Oh, a big one, yeah. Plywood and and uh, some acoustic foam. Um, and yeah. Just rudimentary, layerly bolted together. Mm -hmm. So, like, like I was saying, though, it's just like uh, the first couple of years ago, I was going, "Do these things really work? Do, 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 right. <laughs> am, am, am I just, you know?" And it's it, one it, thing to make one; <laughs> it's another thing to make one that somebody else can actually assemble. Exactly. <laughs> and and they, I was having serious imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. And then over the years, we get we started, you know, people kept buying them, and we got universities to order them again. And yeah. uh, so once once that started to, to snowball, then we realized that realized, yeah, I, I do have something here. And then I, you know, year after year, a different different members of the staff would innovate on something and make it easier to put together, uh, make it you know um, make our seals better. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought uh, we were buying doors from a local door company. Uh, they went out of business and said, hey, can I buy your door machine? And I that's all that machine. It's on my tour video, which you guys can watch too. It is a seriously big piece of machinery. Yeah, no, it's 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 the real deal. It's it, it's made to to pump out you know mass amounts of doors. Uh, we only we only do like two or three doors type, styles of doors in it. But when we did that, it totally dialed in the system. I mean, we were getting bad quality control from from yeah. the other door manufacturers. Doors are tricky. They're that's and that is that's what I always say when I, when when I give tours around the factory I stop at the door our door section and I totally applaud our door person mm -hmm. because that's an art form. It's you know essentially it's a flexible panel that you're putting a full real 2 inch door in and you know you, your house has these heavy duty studs holding that door together. So when you just got a panel together you have to really engineer that to work, to be really precise so you can close the door so it doesn't warp, so yeah. it seals. It, I always say that the door is everything, yeah. uh, pretty much on, on a fully enclosed system. And our well, systems it's, are It's full. an annoying thing to have to have. A giant hole. Oh, I know. It's in the wall of it, your. It's where you're. Structure. You know, you've got see. You know, you've got seams, and that's that's the weakest yeah. link is your door. And so we yeah. we worked really hard. On making that door nice, and our doors are solid. They're, you know, they're, you know, it, is, it doesn't look like a booth. It looks, you know, it looks like a building. It looks yeah. like an, you know, something you yeah. see in a high-end office. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm really proud to have been able to join this collaboration process with your with your guys. Yeah. Because we we've come up with the next level of acoustic tuning for voiceover. Yeah. And it, the proof is in the pudding. We did a whole bunch of sample recordings with what I call the torture test of any booth at the Neumann TLM 103. That's such a popular voiceover mic and All it right. exposes the flaws of any room. And we have that mic sounding really good. No, that's in great. In the four by four booth now. So it's it's a great thing to have been able to collaborate. I'm, I'm really honored to have been able to do it with you guys, you know? It's and fun. and again, it's it's for our company. You coming here is another one of those steps for us, where we can offer another level of utility uh, and be able to really professionally talk about it. I mean, we 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 knew what we knew, we knew our booth sounded good and they worked. Yeah. And and now we we can say now we've got another level that you can go to. There's this ten percent or twenty percent improvement that takes it from being good to sounding pro, like really pro for those picky, picky engineers. Yeah. Especially the video game. Those are my bar for quality. The video game producers are really picky, the yeah, engineers. So this is a, this is really a no brainer. No, I, I'm glad how, however this transposed and you, you coming here and, and we collaborating, I'm really glad we did it. And yeah. I'm really excited about uh, Getting getting it up on the website and, and Me too. getting it out there and getting feedback for it. Well, again, the, the fact that you guys were open to it, 
says a lot about who you are as a company, as a as the owner of the company, and then as a team. It speaks volumes. Thanks. So, Thanks. Yeah, no, it really is. <laughs> I've been doing this a very long time, and this is the first time we've I've been able to have this level of collaboration with a with a booth company. Yeah, and I've worked with all. I've heard them all. Yeah. I've tuned them all. Uh, this is great. I'm just I'm just really uh, honored. So, great. Likewise, we're honored to have you here. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Can't wait to see what comes next. Yay! All right, take care. Thanks. <laughs>